All right, guys, I get asked this question all the time, and that is, why is real estate the best investment? I'll tell you why. So I'm gonna look at both the personal side, buying your personal residence, and also investing into investment property. So we'll start off on the personal side. Uh, the biggest thing being the ability to be able to leverage your money, right? We're lucky to live in the United States where we can go out and get a 30 year fixed mortgage. You almost can't do that anywhere else in the world. Even up in Canada, you're gonna get an adjustable mortgage every five years that you have to refinance. So we're able to lock in a, a payment for 30 years which is something substantial. Now the biggest kicker there is that we can put down low down payments and, and see a cash on cash return through appreciation. So let me break that down for you. If you were to buy a million dollar home and just put down 10%, $100,000, well, if that property increased 5%, which is very common here in San Diego, we would see basically a 50% return on your $100,000 investment, right? Uh, we saw the increased value of 50,000, 50, you invested 100,000, we saw a 50% return in one year. Now, if that goes up 5% the second year, you're at 100%, 5% the third year, you're at 150% cash on cash return. So that's a reason why I really like investing on your personal residence and buying the property. The other thing I love about real estate on the personal side is you're hedging against inflation. Right? Inflation increases at an average of about 2% per year. Who knows what's gonna happen on a recession or a bad economy. However, on average, about 2%. So what that means is that your mortgage payment is usually becoming more affordable over time. So you're locking in for a long period of time that hopefully you'll be making more money so it'll be more affordable, but also with inflation, your house will naturally become more affordable. And the last reason why I love it, taxes. You get to write off your property taxes, your interest, uh, you get to write off your mortgage interest. And the biggest one is you can take advantage of capital gains tax, meaning you can see appreciation for a few years, turn around and sell your prop property for a profit and not pay any taxes on that profit for up to $250,000 on a personal residence, or sorry, for a individual and $500,000 for a married couple. It's pretty substantial. Now, before I jump into the I guess advantages of investing in property, investment properties, I wanna talk about one of the big uh, areas that I see people kind of overlooking that they can both, both invest on the personal side also an investment property. And that's buying a second home. Now, if you go purchase a second home, it has to be a certain distance away from your primary and you have to use it 14 days of the year. However, you can go get uh, a traditional conventional loan like a primary residence. So you can lock in at a super low rate and go buy something and then you can turn around and Airbnb it, right? With all the advantages there, probably pay for itself. Also be able to go utilize that property. Maybe it's a beach property here in San Diego. So that's a big advantage to buying a second property. Get all those benefits from before. Plus uh, you, can, you can look at it as an investment property and maybe make some money. All right guys, let's look at strictly investment properties now and the reasons why I love buying investment properties. The first thing is you have control over your asset. If you buy in the stock market, you don't have control, right? If you buy bonds or you buy private equity, you don't have control of that investment. When you buy real estate, it's yours. You can do what you want with it. You can make adjustments, you can sell it fast, you can do what you need to do to make sure that's a sound investment and you're in control. The other thing that I love about it is depreciation. So it goes overlooked by a lot of folks before they start investing. Once you start investing, then you realize you really realize the benefits of this. But you can depreciate your asset over a period of time and basically get a tax write-off every year. So you combine that with a 1031 exchange. So you'll buy a property, write down the depreciation, then you'll 1031 exchange, so you'll sell that property and buy into another property that's maybe worth a little bit more. And you buy into that property and then you depreciate that asset and you get those tax benefits. It's one of the hidden advantages to buying real estate. And then the last thing that I just wanna mention is exactly what I talked about on the personal side and that's that cash on cash return, right? You can still leverage your money and we have great rates of 30 year fixed mortgages um, and you can go out there and leverage your money and buy an investment property that pays for itself or maybe make a little bit on it. 
the big thing is it's gonna be a, an asset that you're gonna hold for a long period of time. They can depreciate, make a little bit of cash flow, also see um, values increase. So it's a great investment. So that's it guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or anybody here on the team. We're always here to help. All right, take care.